students welcome to academia today our discussion is cryostate cryostate is a special microtome in the discussion of microtome we have seen that there are different varieties of microtomes are present among them the cryostate is a kind of microtome which is used for cutting frozen sections cryostat is used for the tissues at low temperature typically around minus 15 to minus 30 degree centigrade the basic difference is that where the standard microtome carries the operation at room temperature the cryostat enables this at low temperature the working principle of a cryostat involve around its overall composition that makes it suitable for lot of functions this kind of rapid freezing of the tissue sample converts the water into ice the form ice within the tissue acts as the embedding media to cut the tissue and on the basis of this the cryostat actually works now moving to the features of cryostat it is used to cut histological sections and it is essentially an ultra fine microtome placed in a freezer it is usually a stationary upright freezer with an external wheel for rotating the microtome generally it is a freezer in which uh, uh, the microtome is situated and we can operate it from outside the temperature uh, can be vary depending on the tissue being cut this freezer is either powered by electricity or by a refrigerant like liquid nitrogen newer microtomes have electric push buttons advancement of the tissue then the wheel the tissue are sectioned as thin as 1 micrometer specimens are which are soft at room temperature are mounted on a cutting medium and frozen to cutting temperature once the specimen is cut to a satisfactory quality it is mounted on a warm cleared glass slide the entire process from mounting to reading the slide takes 10 to 20 minutes allowing a rapid diagnosis in the operation room for the surgical exercise of cancer so this is the main uh, importance of the cryostat that we can uh, get uh, the sections uh, in a very quick uh, way but the cryostat section quality is poorer as compared to fixed tissue sections which we use in the rotary or other microtomes it is very much useful in hospitals laboratory and research centers in the diagram the parts of the cryostat are shown we can see the main panel the second panel freezing chamber hand wheel and the worsted liquid barrel now moving to the components number 1 is control system the automatic temperature is uh, computer controlled the lcd displays the three temperatures the working condition of all hardware compressor a compressor b lighting uv defrost and advance and withdrawal of the motor freezing of the table and the knife
There are four freezing points. The dual compressor control system has four thermostat control points. The head, knife, table and box. The cryostat sections work with using very low temperature. Uh, this saves energy and time and also reduces the ice crystal condensation. The rapid freezing system can be switched off manually at any time. After working 8 hours, the rapid freezing system will switch off automatically. Now the defrosting system. It has automatic and manual defrosting functions. Defrosting time interval, defrosting time, manual defrosting may be set. These settings may be varied according to the ambient temperature. The defrosting function can be switched off any time. In the mechanical design, the use of roller bearings makes the instrument very stable in the vertical plane. The mechanism is enclosed and maintenance free. Mechanical performance is excellent for the production of uniform, flat and stable sections. Before using in the cryostat, the specimen should be handled properly. The tissue must reach histopathology lab immediately. To avoid tissue being dried, it should be kept in saline. The size of the tissue should be small, thin, so that good, smooth sections can be obtained. And freezing also quick. Thickness of the tissue should be about 3 mm. 4 mm. After the handling, the embedding has done. Now, what are the embedding media we use here? Generally, for other microtomes, the paraffin is mostly used as embedding media. But here, uh, the optimum cooling temperature is actually work as embedding media. Or, the sucrose 20% solution can be used. Other embedding medias are also available for cryostat. Liquid nitrogen is another substance used for freezing the tissue. An expertise is required while using the liquid nitrogen to get uniform freezing. Aerosol sprays are also used for the purpose. What are the purpose of using frozen sections in cryostat? The advantages are number one, quick diagnosis. Number two, study the margins of cancer. Number three, enzyme histochemistry. Number four, immunohistochemistry, number 5, detection of lipid and number 6, some molecular procedures. So these things can quickly done by using the frozen sections. But it also have some disadvantages like morphological distortion, the cellular details are not well seen, staining is not very good, and some special stains cannot be performed during this. In brief, what are the specifications of cryostat? So here we see that minimum division value of section is 1 mu m, vertical movement of head 60 mm, horizontal movement of head 20 mm, Rough feeding speed 0.7 mm per second to um, or 0.35 mm per second. 
the working time is very much rapid the rapid freezing system switches off automatically after 8 hours the maximum specimen size 35 into 35 mm the angle adjustment of section knife is 0 degree to 10 degree now the temperature change the freezing chamber having 30 minus 30 degree centigrade to 2 minus 10 degree centigrade the time freezing shelf to reach uh, minus 30 degree centigrade is 60 minutes freezing shelf minimum temperature minus 45 degree centigrade minimum temperature of heat extractor on freezing shelf minus 55 degree centigrade heat extractor working time 15 minutes uh, other electrical specifications are also shown now why the maintenance of cryostat is important a cryostat is a device that is very important for us without proper maintenance we might encounter different problems that can significantly affect our study so the cryostat must be placed in an area where it can pull in and blow out clean air right away its components must be cleaned every day the area must be completely locked since we want to avoid irrelevant elements from entering and messing up the device an annual checkup and preventive maintenance can do the job so not only cryostat but also every instrument of the labs are maintained so that we we get a quick and easy result from these So what is the difference between a microtome and a cryostat? A microtome is used to cut very thin sections at room temperature where the cryostat is used to cut frozen sections at sub-zero temperature. A cryostat is used in situations where rapid analysis of tissues are required. The water rich tissue is frozen on a quick freezing shelf inside the cryostat. This makes it very hard and it is then ready to be cut. On the other hand, in simple microtome, the tissue needs to be first dehydrated and then fixed in paraffin before it can be sectioned. The quality of sections cut in a cryostat is inferior compared to those cut in a microtome. Now in this slide there are some questions with their answers. So this is all about the introduction, the parts and the methods of cryostat. Hope you students can understand. If you have any query and question, you can ask or can comment in the comment box. Thank you.